When I first read it, I thought this appeals, I suppose because I'm of a certain age now, when I think technology and everything that's come in. And it's, um, it's got a lovely warm feeling for it, it's nostalgic. And it's all set in this one house basically, it's a, a, a farcical um, love story come comedy, a bit of everything in there really, isn't there? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a great fan of uh, silly English humour, not silly as in, as in pointless, but silly as in sort of it just tickles you and makes you chuckle and makes you laugh and you smile and you think, I shouldn't have smiled at that, it's so ridiculous, but you can't help it. And I think there's a lot of that going on in this one, mm. which is uh, a lot of fun. It's a show which I think you start smiling about 30 seconds into it, ease yourself back and realise you're in pretty good hands when he comes on. And from then on you just spend the next couple of hours with a big grin on your face, with a few belly laughs thrown in. But it's a, it's a very charming show and it's set in period, so it's in the 50s. Yeah, great escapism for a couple of hours and just, um, just leave the theatre with a big smile on their faces. I think, I think uh, Doctor in the House is, um, is a big smile for everybody. I think that if you just want a couple of hours when you will be purely entertained, there is nothing intellectual in this show <laughs> whatsoever. It is just funny. I think Dr. in the House represents a time when the people were nicer to each other and at the end of the day you'll come out with a big smile on your face and a nice warm feeling inside like you've got a little hot water bottle inside your pants. Okay. Does that sell it for you? <laughs> would you buy a ticket for that? <laughs> would you? Really? Would you buy a ticket if you said, <laughs> you come out with a water bottle down your pants? As long as it doesn't leak. <laughs> <laughs>